Hey there guys, this is Vlad from Review Outdoor Gear and today I got another review for you. Um, this is another YKS product. So YKS sent us another thing for us to review and of course it was uh, free so we'll try to keep this as unbiased as possible. You know, take extra care to make sure we're not you know, leaning towards them because they sent us to us for free. So. But here it is. First of all, I'll just give you just a, a quick rundown of my opinion, and you know, maybe for those that want to get you know, to the point quicker, and then I'll kind of go into more detail after that. So, for my opinion, it's a pretty, pretty decent quality light, very, uh, pretty good value for it. Um, I'd say it's a utility light. Uh, it's very powerful, and um, it's really good for just, like jobs or like car camping or just something to have in the car. Um, and it does have a couple drawbacks, you know, it's a little bit flimsy here and there, but otherwise, pretty good value. I think it's about 15 bucks on Amazon. So for those of you that want to just, you know, get over the, uh, get to the point really quick, that was that. But, uh, going into some more detail about this. So it comes in a little box like this. Um, it says high power, zoom, headlamp, there. has a couple directions on the side, the way to... You know what to, uh, how many batteries to put in there, and kind of information. Um, so it says here that on the on the side of the box here, you'll see that it says it's 170 meters for range, 75 hours runtime, and then 300 lumens. Now you'll see next to that there's a couple asterisks um, above those values, and usually that means that there's a reference somewhere on the box to further explain that but I've been looking for a while and I've not found those so I'm not sure what those mean but I will say that it's a very bright very bright light it probably is about 300 lumens so you can see inside of there maybe that has a pretty good quality LED it's not one of those cheaper looking kind of rounded fake kind of low quality LEDs it's an actual nice like advanced LED in there which uh, puts out a good amount of light 300 lumens it has uh, three settings so when you click it once, high power, and then low power, and then it's strobe. Well, the box says it has three settings, but actually the cool thing that it has is if you hold the light um, for a while, it'll go into a SOS mode, which I thought is pretty cool. And, you know, usually lights that have an SOS mode are kind of useless because they're not strong enough to actually, you know, send a signal. But with this being 300 lumens, the SOS mode could actually be uh, pretty useful, I think. Um, it runs on three uh, AAA batteries in the back here, and the directions on the box say there's a little uh, insert here that tells you how to you know, how to work with a machine and whatever. But it says the way that you put the batteries in is these little buttons on the side. You just kind of press them gently, and I've been pressing them gently for a while, and I've not been able to open those so. You gotta just really kind of pry at it, so it's kind of one of the drawbacks. It's kind of hard to open this little thing, uh, the, the battery compartment. And but once you do get it open, there's three uh, three LA, uh, three AAA batteries in there that run the thing. Um, and one of the coolest features with this light is the way uh, the way that the light works. You know, most headlamps you get it's just a um, just an LED on the side of there with a, like a covering on it, and you know, there's a couple maybe a couple LEDs on there like that'll do that or just like some of these more simple kind of LEDs but the one this what this has here is has an LED in the back but it has this optical zoom kind of feature kind of like a telescoping little uh, lens on it that kind of moves in and out so it kind of moves, moves out and then in like that and what that allows you to do is it gives it a, a two, 2,000 times zoom so if you push it all the way in it'll be like a pretty wide kind of floodlight but if you pull it all the way out, it focuses basically that LED in there, just its perfect shape as a, as a spotlight. And this thing's powerful. I mean, you can, you can go outside at night and just shine for at least you know, a couple hundred feet and you can see very very clearly what, what you're trying to look at. So that's a, that's a really cool feature of it. Um, you know, it's, they say it's a lightweight thing, which is, it's, it's pretty standard of a weight thing. It's 3.7 ounces, I believe. Um, you know, compare it to some other ones, like this Black Diamond Storm is 3.4, this 
Coleman Axis one is about 3.6 or so. So it's pretty it's pretty standard. Um, in that case, or in that regards, um, another thing that was kind of interesting was that these straps kind of they made they made it go in your head, kind of like this. Um, they kind of go on. You know, they go on fine at first, but as you can see, they're already extended to the full capacity. And I kind of have you know a standard size, or maybe even a, on the smaller side of a head. And after a while, if you put that on, it kind of starts to crawl up on your head. So you kind of have to keep pulling it back down. But not a major issue, I guess. But one of the most important things I, I noticed on it was that so if you, uh, if you were to put it on your head and then try to maybe tilt it down to a certain portion or to leave it straight, if you were like to run in it or mountain bike, you can see it, it kind of tilts down on its own. And that's kind of not ideal. There are screws on the side there you can see I haven't tried tightening those so maybe you could tighten those actually let's try it right now maybe that'll fix it Got the handy Leatherman tool here tighten that little screw in there let's see a little bit more let's see A little bit better, but not so much. So you might say that you know that that issue would be you know prevalent in all headlamps, but not really. I mean, I mean, you're stepping up the price here. But if you get you know a nicer quality you know black diamond uh, headlamp, you know it's never going to do that. You can shake it as much as you want, and you know they have a just a better design, you know. But again, this is what 50 bucks, and this is 15.99 or something on Amazon. So that's another little issue there, but other than that, they say that it's waterproof on the box, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't stick it in the water. I mean, I've, I've opened it up and checked it out. I mean, there's no IPX rating, you know, specified as to how waterproof it is. So I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't go there. So to summarize again, pretty good value headlamp at fifteen dollars. You know, you can't really beat that. I mean. To, comp to compare a price, here's a headlamp that Coleman makes. You know, Coleman is a pretty well-known company. It's the Coleman Axis headlamp, and I think this is $15.99 or so before shipping on Amazon, and this is $15.99 with Prime. You can get it for free shipping, and you know, of course, it's probably a little bit more, uh, you know, sturdy, and you know, the head, the strap is better, and it's more waterproof. But you know, with these little three LEDs, you get 24 lumens, I believe. And here you have 300, you know, and it has a little the aluminum uh, design here, you know, it's it's pretty. You can drop it, you know, you probably survive a couple couple tosses around and stuff. So I'd say I wouldn't take this. Maybe this would be my first choice for like a backpacking trip or something like that. But I definitely would take it. Just leave it in my car always, or you know, for like utility uses to like dig around in the house or fixing a car. This would be great. So I guess no headlamp review is really complete without a nighttime test. So here we go. So here, starting off, we are at this is just my uh, log diamond spot at 130 lumens. Right there, 130 lumens. So I'm shining at my neighbor's house. Hopefully they're not they won't mind that too much. Um, this is about I don't know, oh maybe 30 feet or so, 30 feet away. And then you know it dims down to you know. Eight, which you can't even see, basically. But switching over to the uh, the YKS light. So here we go. That's the spotlight there at 300 lumens, I believe. And then, so you can see, you can kind of adjust it to like a pretty big circle of a floodlight, which you know, at 30 feet or so, covers about at least 20 or 25 feet of a width. So it's a pretty good, um, pretty good flood. And also has a little like red ring on on the outside. You can kind of see right here. So that kind of gives you a like a light around yourself as well while it shines on the front. So then, as you pull out that little extendable telescopic little bulb at the end, I guess it uh, it nar narrows and narrows until it gets down to this kind of the shape of the LED basically inside. There's just a huge spotlight. You can see basically anything as good as the day. There's my neighbor's uh, water thingy. But yeah, you can see how how uh, how bright that is, and then that goes down to a dimmer setting, and then a strobe, 
and then the SOS. All right, so not too bad, pretty bright. So um, the link below, if you want to get one of these, just check it out. Um, you can pick one up on Amazon, and it'll be pretty good light, I think. Um, and if you like the video, um, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment if you have, if you have any questions about the lamp. Um, I'll try to keep you updated on, you know, if something goes terribly wrong with it, I'll leave it in the description or in the comments. Um, yes, yeah, if you like the video, subscribe or check out our channel. There'll be a little button that should pop up. Um, yeah, and as always, have a good day and praise God in all you do. See you later.